G'day, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Grand Blue Fantasy Relink video. And this time I'm going to be talking about an extremely rare enemy, but an extremely rewarding enemy, and that is the Prismatic Slime. Like I said, this enemy is quite rare, but the materials it drops, I think you'll agree, are pretty exceptional. Beating this slime has a chance to drop Ambrosia, which gives you 15,000 mastery points on use, also Damascus Ingots, which allows you to raise the level cap of any weapon at any stage up one tier. So if you've got a weapon at level 125, you can raise it to 150 by simply using this Damascus ingot, and it will bypass all of the required materials and simply use one of these ingots. There is also a chance that the slime will drop the Azurite Splendor. Now this allows you to always raise a sigil to its maximum level, regardless of the sigil's rarity. Along with this, the slime will also drop 500 of the Wayfarer tickets. As far as the actual mastery and the experience and rupees drop from the Prismatic Slime, I'm not too sure of the exact values, but regardless of that, the items alone dropped are totally worth it. Now, I believe these slimes can be found at any place that a slime would normally spawn, but the way I've been doing it is been going into the Maniac mission, Slime Peed. The goal of this mission is to beat or kill as many slimes as possible. They can spawn as their normal variant, the gold and silver variants, and also the king gold and silver variants, as well as that ultra, ultra rare prismatic slime. In order to do this most effectively, you want to be able to get rid of slimes any way possible as fast as you can. Now, this doesn't always mean defeating all of the slimes. It can just be hitting the slimes to get them out of the way so that they respawn with the chance of possibly spawning that prismatic slime. As far as I know, there is only one set location for that prismatic slime to be, and luckily Vern will also give you a bit of an audio cue that the prismatic slime has spawned. So when you hear Vern say this, once you hear that, run to the raised part of the arena, and you'll notice that there is an extra pot stuck right in the middle of that uh, raised platform. If you do look closer, you can see some little rainbow colored eyes sticking out of the pot, but you'll soon notice once you hit him that he goes full rainbow or prismatic colors. This guy does move pretty fast, but as far as my experience goes, I haven't actually had him despawn, but I wouldn't really risk it. I would be going straight for this guy and dumping everything you've got on him. After you beat the Prismatic Slime, finish the quest as normal, and then at your results screen, you'll notice some pretty fantastic awards. So my testing pool has been pretty limited on these slimes, so I would really appreciate your feedback down in the comments if this has worked for you in the terms of uh, what loot you got or if there's any tactics you can use to make this slime spawn more often. As far as my loot experience goes, it is kind of limited. I will say I've only found this slime three times so far, but all three times it has dropped uh, the same items. So each time it's dropped the five of the Azurite Splendor. It's also dropped one Ambrosia. It's also dropped the three Damascus Ingots, and each time it will definitely drop those 500 uh, Wayfarers vouchers. Now, as far as tactics goes to possibly make this guy spawn faster, I had been using Nomaya, and the way I was doing it was just repeatedly using a charged attack. Now, it doesn't matter if you're not strong enough to delete the enemies straight away with this one charged attack, but the real beauty of hitting the whole room with this attack is that you will, regardless of them running or dying, they will have another pot appear in their place, and each pot appears that appears will give you a chance to spawn that prismatic slime. So what is your experience with the Prismatic Slime been? Have you found them in other places at all? Have you been able to beat them? And what were your rewards when you got them? I'd really appreciate their feedback in the comments below. If you did like this video and you found it helpful, then leave, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them down, down below. And uh, I can't really talk at the moment because it's bloody hot. But uh, anyway, until the next video, this has been Lemon Eating Cow. Mmm... Goo.